All right, what's up, fam? Before we start to this video, um, I'm just gonna try to switch things up with the vlogs. Um, before every vlog, I'm gonna try to like answer five questions. Instead that like you guys comment in the comments, DM me or anything, I'm just gonna answer five before every video. Just like, just mini like Q and A's before every video. Cause like the first one, I'm just gonna go through the basic questions. I actually posted this Q and A mad long ago, and I really had, didn't really have time to do it. All right, the first question is, um, when did you start lifting? I actually started lifting like a year and two months ago. Um, I knew Dill, Dave, Quinn, all the boys um, for a long time and uh, I was like really athletic and then once high school started I was like kind of the small kid too but um, I didn't really do anything about it till uh, it's like senior year, I no, end of junior year like going into senior year I really started to uh, get into lifting and just try to bulk up so yeah that's when I reached out to those guys we all became friends and then my career should start from there. All right, the second question is just um, how tall are you and how much did you weigh and how much did you weigh before I started lifting? So before I started lifting, I was six foot, 145 pounds. So yeah, and then right now I am six foot, 165 pounds. I got to 168 for like one day and then I just lost it again. So yeah, right now I'm one, six foot, 165 pounds. All right, question number three is how many calories do you eat a day? Alright, so right now, um, I don't track my macros. People also, also ask me that too. Do you track your macros? No, I do not track my macros. I've been bulking the whole time. I've been lifting, like never went on a cut, anything. And um, I honestly just eat whatever. I try to hit about 3,000 calories a day. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I really don't eat that much. But then sometimes I fucking like overload eating, eat like 4,000 calories. So like I'm fluctuating from there. Um, my protein, I still hit my protein. I have my protein shakes. I eat a lot of protein. I still hit about like 160 grams of protein. I um, don't really track my fats and carbs like I said, but I mean it's been working out for me. But maybe in the future, once I start getting fat, because I already can tell I'm getting fat, I'm probably gonna start going on a, a mini cut, just like not some like huge, but just a mini cut. All right, question number four is what are my maxes on the three major lifts: the bench, squat, and deadlift. And my squat right now is 435 pounds. And my bench is a 295, which actually the video you're going to see when I bench, I failed something that I shouldn't have failed. So stay tuned to that. But like um, my bench is 295 and my deadlift is 455. And I'm going to make another video explaining why I don't deadlift as much. So stay tuned to that. All right, question number five is, am I going to be doing a powerlifting meet or a bodybuilding competition? Um... In the future, I plan on doing a powerlifting meet. Um, I've been looking into it. I thought I was going to do it well, this coming summer, but then I just thought about it, and I just didn't really want to rush into things. I just want to run a powerlifting program, see how I feel, see how my lifts go, and then maybe go into a meet. So, yeah, that's my thing about powerlifting meet. Um, bodybuilding competition. Uh, my dad was actually a bodybuilder. He wanted me to do that, but I just don't think... I want to risk like cutting major calories and just my stomach shrinking and me just feeling so depressed because I know guys cutting and pre prepping for a bodybuilding show. I talked to some of my friends and it is the most brutal thing ever. But once you hit show day, everything pays off. But then after you just want to eat so much food, but prepping for that, fuck that. So yeah, yeah, I don't think bodybuilding is going to happen. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of this five question Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. It's going to be a little short one, just a little bench with me, Dylan, Ryan, Casey. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed All right, what's up, fam? Welcome back to a brand new video. Um, it's about 9 o'clock right now. I literally just got done work, ran inside, and got dressed because tonight, me, Dylan, and Ryan, Casey are about to go to the gym to hit a push workout. They're actually leaving for Thailand tomorrow. Fucking lucky bastards. So um, I just wanted to film a video with them before they left. So yeah, I'm about to head over to Dylan's house right now and... Go see what they're doing. Hi. What's up? Downstairs. Ah. What's downstairs? Ah. Yeah. Hi. It wasn't no, who you were expecting. Good. I'm sorry. What's up, bro? Saw, dudes. Aw, Dill's playing Fortnite. Nice first kill in five hours. Huh? Really? Probably, yeah. Hey, Dill. Yeah, it's all, dude. Are oh, you still ass at Fortnite? Bro, he, dude, he was like, dude, I'm fucking amazing. And I was like, ugh. Dude, and you, dude, Dill's one of those dick players who doesn't let anyone hear the sound, so he has to be, has to have the headset on everything. So, Ryan's here all depressed and shit. Okay. Damn, kill yourself. So, are we going to the gym? Huh? Are we no. going to the gym? We don't train anymore. Burrito. 
All right guys, so after an hour of chilling at Dill's house, we actually decided to come to the gym. And um, I'm just gonna talk about like what we're gonna do uh, in the gym, in the car, because when I talk in the gym, you guys can't really hear me because of the music's blasting. But today, um, we're all hitting a push day. I have a top set of one, so a heavy single, and then I have a three by three. Not really sure what Dylan and Ryan are training. Um, they might try to go for something heavy, not really sure yet. But I'm really hoping I hit something heavy. I've eaten a lot the past days, so I feel really good. I have my pre-workout here, the Harame Love pre-workout. If you guys wanna shop for that, you know. Uh, link in the description and you guys can use my code Chris for 40% off so if you guys want to shop the Haram Bibla pre-workout the link to their website will be in the description so yeah about to go to the gym and kill this workout Brian take a cup take a cup yeah. I'm not I'm, I'm gonna I'm not gonna down a scoop like right away you're not no I'm going to I'm just doing like a water bottle sipping through you are trying this though I'm trying the Haram Bibla though All right, you good. hyped it up bro I did I hyped yeah, it up it's fucking awesome yeah yeah, yeah. Fat pad? I have no what? Fat pad? Yeah, fat pad, baby. Bro, how much does it change your life, man? Oh, it, ch it changes my life so much. Change. Ryan, the people want to know, What's up? what are you doing on bench today? What am I doing on bench? Uh, well, I have tendonitis in my left elbow, so I'm probably just doing like a 225 rep out. 225 rep out? Yeah. Dale, yeah. what are you doing on bench today? I'm going to hit a 3x3. Three three. I don't really know what weight I'm going to do yet. Probably around 200. All right, fam, so Ryan is going to take his first sip of under es underestimated Harambe blood free workout. Oh shit. That tastes really fucking fruity. Good, bro. right? It's good though. It's what, really pro really probably tasty. one of the best tasting pre workouts. Joe, it's this shit, bro. Harambe blood, man. It's called Harambe blood. Probably fucking like 10 grams of DMA, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, no, dude. Is that you got drug tested at my, at my meat? Sadly, it's legal. I got fucking tested. Really? Yeah. That just moves so fucking fast, bro. It's a little awkward though, because I'm not used to this. I'm just used to like a, a little bitch ass rack. So this is like, you have to like move it up when yeah. it takes on a power out. Let's see how fast this flies up. Ooh, going for some control reps. Catching the end of corn dog set. Just throwing these two girls around. Some controlled reps. Here we go, sir. Yeah, that's how I feel. Easy. I was trying to go for like two, but then I hit what the you going for right, All right, fam. So you guys just saw that 225 went up really easily. Now I'm just gonna bump it up to 250, hit that for one, and then maybe bump it up to 285. If I hit that easily, I might try to go hundred higher for three hundo, and then work into my three by three. Let's see, how that, let's see how that goes. All right, so 250 went up really easy. I actually missed the fuck out of it, but it still felt really easy, so I'm gonna move up to 285. All right, so I'm probably gonna do like 225 for like seven to 10, and then go for a 225 rep out. Um, I don't know, for some reason, like just every time I bench, I just get stronger the more sets I do. It's it's pretty weird. I think it's just because my body needs to get extremely, extremely warm before I had anything heavier, anything for a super high amount of reps. Put a winter so, coat on then. What? Put a winter coat on that. Put a winter coat? They get really warm? Alright. Half rapper. I learned from you.
brutal. That's my, that was my elbow pain that I had squatting when I went down with that 285 and I like slowly started push up. My elbow just shot out in pain. I just tried to grind through it, but that was one stupid to try to make I grind through it and I felt the pain. Fam, if you ever feel pain when you're lifting, just just stop. Just don't go with like through with that lift because that's how you can get your more hurt. Thank God you can get more hurt, but Bobo is in pain and dead. I'm sorry. I know you're watching this video and you're like trying to stop complaining about pain, but it is bad. But so I'm going to go really light on this 3x3 and maybe use those gangster wraps I use on my wrist, maybe just tie one up against my elbow or something. And then, to be honest guys, like, I might have to get it checked out. Like, I really might have to get my elbow checked out because I can't let this, like, get any worse than it already is. So, um, I'm probably just going to do a 225 for this 2x3. Jeez, man, what the hell? She's Some druggy shit. Some rap. That feels tremendously better. Alright. Wow. 245. How's that? I didn't feel as bad. The OP is not there because of these things. It's actually work. So I might Did actually get all those things. I might get elbow sleeves. Do you definitely work? need you to. Sleeves, well, right? I have elbow sleeves, but they're like three millimeters, so like they don't help with like resistance or anything. Uh -huh. But they help keep them warm if you keep them on the whole time, man. Yeah, yeah. Like you I keep, might, you... Boys, I'm investing some elbow sleeves. Please stop. So to finish off the bench, I'm gonna do two plates, then I'm gonna drop it down to 185, then 135. I'm gonna do a drop set, and I'm gonna keep my feet up on the bench. So basically, I'm gonna be just working my chest, boys. It's gonna be brutal. So. Let's do this. He just hit 16. You had to hit 16, so you... Was that 16? Yeah. Wow. Good job, sir. Is your mom a fucking linebacker? Like <laughs> fucking lap hole on 62? One shit rep. Two shit rep. Three shit rep. Good job, sir. Did it unwrap a little bit? How does it feel? Yeah, it unwrapped a little yeah, bit. See, so that's bit. what happens with the sleeves, bro. I mean, with uh, fucking straps. With straps. Yeah. 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 So something actually came up. I actually have to leave the gym kind of early. 
Um, so I can't really do much of my hypertrophy work. So I'm probably just gonna put the video out of just this bench. And um, if you guys enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.